Hello YouTube, this is DXLinkJ, and today I will be showing you how to efficiently farm Act 1 Inferno. The method we are going to use today involves killing the most elites in the shortest amount of time. A run begins by starting Quest 9 Part 2 and going to the Northern Highlands Waypoint. Check for the Watchtower instance. If it's not there, reload. The Watchtower will be more important later on. Then head to the Festering Woods. I go to this area first because there's a guaranteed two elites and there can be up to three elites around the area outside the dungeons. One spawned for me here at the entrance. Cemetery of the Forsaken is next. Three elites can spawn in this area, at least one per dungeon. When you enter each one, kill the first pack you find and then teleport out and waypoint back. This saves a great amount of time by not having to run back. A little tip here. If you find the Jar of Souls event, complete it by activating the jar and run away to find another elite. You do not have to stay there. Come back when the time is done. If you find the Ghost event, just run to all three checkpoints and then run to the coffin in the end. Always complete these events as they give easy rares. As you may have noticed by now, I'm killing the mobs that I walk by with Blizzard. Now normally when you do this run, you want to 
completely avoid the mobs, especially if you have enough magic find. But I like to kill them anyways, because they give health globes that I can use later on if I need them. Returns. By the time you've completed Cemetery of the Forsaken, you should have your 5 stacks of Nephilim Valor. Now this is the most important part of the run, the Watchtower. The Watchtower can spawn up to 10 elites, plus goblins and resplendent chests. Run through the tower and kill every elite in your path. He can't help himself. Don't worry about it. I'll be watching him.
The majority of the run is done in the watchtower, and from here you can go to two different places depending on your opinion. Either Leoric's Manor or Highlands Crossing. I prefer Leoric's Manor because many health bots can spawn outside the manor. I generally do not visit Highlands Crossing because the elites that spawn there can be very difficult to kill. If you do visit Highlands, then head north and try and find the Cave of the Moon Clan instance. The most elites will spawn there. This is the end of the run. Per run, you should find about 20 elites to kill. This run is much better with more magic vine, but it's still very efficient without any at all. Meaning that anyone can do it, even with bad gear. So don't get discouraged if you don't have enough DPS or armor, or anything like that. Please take me with you. I'm going to need hospitality dull. Credits go to L4Ncaster for writing the original post on Reddit. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching.